Hello and welcome to our week three installment of the Panagraph Prep Preview, our video segment we're doing this year. I'm assistant sports editor Joe Deacon and joining me this week is Jim Benson, our veteran sports writer. Uh, he's got to fill the shoes for uh, sports editor Randy Kindred. Jim, you think you're up to the task? Well, I'm glad it's not a writing contest, Joe, because if it was writing, uh, I'd be smoked there. But I, I can handle this uh, just as good as Randy, I think. Well, I'm sure you can too, so we'll, uh, we'll give it a go this week. And uh, last week now in the football what a, what a crazy night Friday was with all the weather we had. Got a lot of games post over to Saturday. And the biggest issue turned out to be for both the normal teams having to go down to Belleville twice in two days. Normal West came out with a big touchdown uh, return to win. Normal Community now, though, is 0-2, and they're going to face each other with the Ironman needing a victory. Yeah, it's uh, hopefully this Friday will be better weather. The first two weeks of the season have been kind of really poor and all that. Uh, and it's kind of weird that the two unit five teams are playing the Chili Bowl so early in the season. They've usually played kind of midway in the season, and normal community definitely, you don't want to say a must win in week three, but this is, they really, really need a win very badly. And West, of course, is you know ranked, doing really well so far. A big pull out that win against a tough opponent. Wildcats are going to be tough for normal. Wildcats are. I, I covered normal community the first week when they played uh, Belleville uh, West, and uh, Normal Community had a chance to win that game, made a couple of errors. Um, hopefully they'll clean it up a little bit and uh, and move on, and I expect this to be a really close game. Yep, Normal trying to avoid now. They're 0-2 for the first time in 10 years, so they've really got to get something going here if they want a, a playoff push. <clears throat> Bloomington, they get there also 0-2. Right. They're, uh, they lost to Nazareth, a tough game, and then a tough loss to Pekin. Now they've got to get their sights there. They're hosting their home game against LaSalle, Peru. And Central Catholic is also 0-2. We've got some... Th- Inner city teams that really need a victory. Yeah, and uh, luckily for both of them, I think uh, they're running into good opponents. Uh, Bloomington's playing LaSalle Peru, which, uh, you know, Bloomington normal teams really have not played LaSalle Peru in football, so that's kind of a new thing. LaSalle Peru hasn't scored a point this year. They've lost to two good opponents in uh, Lincoln Way North and I um, can't remember who, who the other one was, uh, uh, Washington, I think. They, mm-hmm. So they've lost to two pretty good opponents, too. Uh, good game for Bloomington. It's their home opener, and Central Catholic's played two really tough teams uh, to, out of the go, and they played very well. So yeah, I, expect, I, uh, I expect the Saints to kind of get on the track right here. Yeah, actually, I was at their game against uh, Uhi on Saturday after that got pushed right. again. And uh, for about two and a half quarters, they actually controlled most of the game. They were just in such a deep hole that they couldn't get out of it. Their defense held the Pioneers down for most of the second half, and, and they got some big plays, and they've got a chance to finally get things going, I think. Yeah, I think they'll, I think they'll be okay. So Uhi, they're ranked number seven in Class 5A. They're looking to go 3-0 and with the Corn Belt start. They're going to be home against the conference newcomer, IVC. And then another team to watch in the Corn Belt now is how about the Olympia Spartans? 2-0 and for the first time in, what, 12 years, I think? Unbelievable, yeah. Uh, Olympia, uh, it's good to see them turn around. I think they won three games last year, so they kind of got it going in a little bit of the right direction here. And this is this is going to be a really good test for them. Muhammad, Muhammad really stumbled bad in the first week against Mount Zion. I, I don't think that was the real Muhammad team that showed up. Uh, Joe Kenny got him kind of back on track. They have really a really good passing attack. Uh, Colin Miller for uh, Olympia that did a nice job last week at Prairie Central. So this could be an entertaining game, but I think it's really going to show Olympia, you know, if they're a contender or a pretender right off the bat. Yeah, you mentioned Muhammad. They had a tough that first game, but they yeah. did bounce back nicely, get a win over Eureka last week. So they've got a little bit of momentum on their side. Um, let's move over to the heart of Illinois. A couple games to watch this week. is going to be Fisher's going to visit Fieldcrest. And Tri Valley is going to face Flanagan Cornell Woodland. That game is going to be at Woodland High School. Yeah, Fieldcrest is. Uh, I, I think Fieldcrest is the class of the league. Um, Drew Barth is an f- outstanding quarterback. Threw for 329 yards last week. Yeah. They got Grant Jokums at running back. Ran for 138. They're the real deal. Uh, Fisher is more of a traditional kind of pounded out team. Uh, have two really good running backs in Conrad Thomas and Aaron uh, Aaron Carter. Right. So uh, it's gonna it's it's a tough game for Fisher. I think um, it, I think Fieldcrest is kind of the class there, and I, I think Fieldcrest probably pull that one out. Uh, the the other game, uh, Tri Valley, defending champion in the league, lost the first week to Fieldcrest, uh, but they bounced back last week. Flanagan Cornell has won twice, so that's gonna be an interesting game to see if um, uh, Flanagan uh, Cornell Woodland is. Um, kind of in the upper echelon of the league. Yeah, they got a good performance out of Austin Dutko last week in their game with 186 yards, a couple touchdowns, another 100-yard rusher in Ruben De Leon. They're, they're gonna, it's going to be a good test for them. Yeah, and uh, Peyton Roop continues to have, uh, you know, be the leader for Tri-Valley. Uh, he, 
throwing this year, not just running, but throwing and running. So it, that, that'll that be a tight game. Yep, and, and getting back to that first game you mentioned, uh, Fisher, they also got a couple of big 100-yard rushers, like you said, in Thomas and Carter, but they were kind of undone by turnovers last week. Yeah, they uh, and Leroy's a good team, though. Le- Leroy's, yeah. Leroy's I, can, I think they're back this year, and uh, that was a tough loss for Fisher and another tough one for them this week for sure. Yep. One other game to mention from last week we want to point to is uh, your alma mater, Jim. Uh, the Dwight Trojans kind of got off the schneid after snapping a 21-game losing streak, and uh, they beat Hoops and Area. This week the Trojans are home against Watsika. Yeah, you know, I, I go to Dwight every year and do the preview and talk to Andy Pittenger and uh, Eric Black, their assistant coach. He used to be their head coach, and they were telling me this year that they they thought they had some talent this year. They really did, and moving from the Interstate 8, which was just a brutal league for them, for a school their size, to the Sangman Valley, they thought it was a nice move for them. Um, that was a non-conference game last week, and now this is their first Sangamon Valley game. Mm-hmm. So they, they, they think, actually, they'll be able to compete for that title. We'll see. Uh, I know uh, Watsika lost to Tri-Valley last week, 48-7, to so, you know, Trojans might get two in a row, Joe. Yeah, they could. I mean, you said they some of the talent. They had a big game from Jack Davidson last week with three touchdowns, two of them on interception returns. A nice, a nice showing for the Trojans. Yes, yes. So we're back. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, thanks again for watching. Uh, be sure to check out Panagraph.com or pick up your Saturday Panagraph for all of Friday night's results. Thanks again.